welcome back to my channel. So obviously this is not your everyday walk around the park kind of makeup look. Um, this is actually going to be my second Halloween makeup tutorial. I want to do something a little fun and crazy. Um, I want to do something also without any additional face makeup. So this, everything you see on my face is all eyeshadow or a natural face makeup or traditional face makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And the inspiration for this one is gonna be right down here so you guys can kind of see. I'll move over to the side here. I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys. I, this is definitely out of my comfort zone, a little bit crazier than what I normally do, but I love how it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. But before we do, take a quick second to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. Um, I have two more Halloween videos coming out for this season. So hopefully you guys don't miss any of those and I have plenty more coming in the future. So let's go ahead and jump right into this one and get started. All right guys, welcome. Welcome back. So obviously I did this side of my eye and my eyebrow. Um, so I just wanted to do that real quick. It's just a simple um, eye with a pretty big wing. Um, so then I just want to do like the contour inside and everything like that with you guys. Just so you can see just how this side is. It's an everyday makeup look. It's just with part of it cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, contour stick right here. Um, it's one of those double-ended ones. I like using these for looks like this because I can control the product a little bit better, but I am going to go ahead and set it as well. So we're going to go ahead and put it right up here and here. So basically all the normal places we would contour. Swirl it in and blend it in like I normally would with any kind of product. Powder today, I'm going to use a Kat Von D shade and light palette, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into those two here, the bottom two. everything in place as well all of that makeup that we're putting in because for this look it's gonna be very very important that you set everything in place now that we have pretty much everything done on this side I do want to spray it down even though it's not done yet I just want to make sure that we keep building on what we're doing and we don't mess up what we already have so doing or what I'm going to be doing for this whole look is keeping that makeup by handy so then we can clean up as we go because um, this now that we've done pretty much this side except for the eyelashes which I want to do at the very end um, we're going to go ahead and just use this to clean up our lines once again because this look is very important about angles so I want to make sure that our angles are kept. Go ahead and just do a quick layer of like translucent setting powder just to make sure everything stays in place as well. All right, now that we have one side of our face done, what I want to do is I want to do the second side of our face. I'm not going to do any face paint because we tried once or twice earlier, and thank God I tried it now before my Halloween because it did not work out. So word of warning for you for any makeup look that you're doing before Halloween, especially if it's something very involved like this, always test out your makeup before you do it on the day of because there's nothing worse than having it not work out and then your time uh, is crunched and then you're not able to go out and have a good time. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do everything with just makeup. So I wanna do some that same look. It may not be as intense, we'll get a great look out of it. It's just gonna be a different kind of look out of it. I already have primer on this side of the face. I'm gonna use just a black pencil eyeliner and then just map out where our arcs kind of lined up from before. That way we can kind of get it going a little bit and then I can map out what I want to do. We're going to use different colors of orange eyeshadow and reds to try and give that same look. Now that we kind of have it mapped out a little bit, I'm going to use a single brush um, and just kind of blend it out just slightly. As you can see, I'm just kind of taking it and flicking it out this way. I don't have any extra product on my brush yet, but we're gonna build it up as we go. All right, now that we have it all blended out, you actually could just leave your makeup look just like this and that makeup versus no makeup kind of look and then just making it a little bit more um, cracked instead of just like one side or the other. So I guess you could say this is a two in one makeup look, but we're gonna continue on with what we're doing. Since this isn't the look we're going for, but definitely a look that if that's something you wanna do, um, I think this would be a really awesome look to do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the pumpkin 
I'll do the same technique, but go ahead and first just map out where I want my divots to be. And then we're gonna use the eyeshadow after we do that same technique um, and then start turning into what actually looks like a pumpkin. So I know I look a little scary right now. I promise this is one of those looks that it's gonna get better before it gets worse, or it's gonna get worse before it gets better, sorry. So we're gonna do the same technique. So now that I have everything kind of mapped out, so this is obviously gonna be the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. It doesn't have to be perfect in my opinion, um, because jack-o'-lanterns, from what I found, are never looking the same. And as you know, when you kind of tip, a jack-o'-lantern you almost never get the look that you want to get or at least I don't um, so this is something to just keep in mind while you're doing this So now that we look all sorts of cute, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the orange part of it. So what I'm gonna use for the oranges, I'm gonna use this Heat of Beauty um, Brights pot, which looks like this right here. And obviously we're gonna be using this one and probably a little bit of the yellow. I also am gonna be using the Laura Lee um, Electric Palette and I wanna use this orange right up here. I'm use a little bit of a brush like this. It's a little bit bigger than I wanna, what I wanna use, but I wanna blend it into everything. Um, and then that way we can start with the orange first and then we're gonna go back with our highlights and um, more of those blacks and browns. So you'll see as we keep going.
Alright guys, so now that we look all sorts of fabulous again, um, it's not going to look obviously exactly as the picture because we're no longer using face paint, um, but I think it's turning out pretty cute actually. It's a little bit on guard kind of style, um, but I'm going to go ahead and clean up the mouth and everything and then start doing the eyes, um, and I think this is going to start coming together pretty cute, um, so let's go ahead and move right over to that. For the mouth and everything like that, I'm going to use another flat brush. And I'm actually going to use this lipstick here. Um, I got this one new from e.l.f. Um, I really, really like this one. I wore it the other night when I went to a Halloween party and it dries completely matte. Um, so it is a little bit on the dry side. So I would definitely, if you're going to put on the lips, I would recommend putting a little bit of um, lip balm on while you're doing like the, your whole face. And then that way you can wipe it off. And then I did set mine with some black eyeshadow. So that helps to kind of keep it in there and so it didn't move around um, but I found it stayed really well throughout the night so we're gonna go ahead and use this All right, so here's the first base done on at least the mouth and the nose. So for the eyes, because it is the eyes, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Um, I'm gonna use this NYX Jumbo Stick in black, and I wanna fill in the eye first. I'm setting it with black eyeshadow instead, whereas for the mouth and the nose, I'm just gonna set the liquid lipstick in place with a black eyeshadow. Using the Laura Lee palette, I'm going to use Lou um, for my black. Then I'm going to use that same shadow and then just go ahead and fill in all of my mouth and my nose as well. Guys, so we are near, nearing the finish line here. So I want to do just a couple little cracks in my forehead as well. So for that, I'm actually going to use a liquid eyeliner and then go ahead and get some cracks and then do my lashes. Um, and then we should be almost done. Just to clean up those cracks a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of regular concealer here and I'm just going to go ahead and go right along the edges of some of these. And I actually want to use a Q-tip, which sounds a little strange, but I want to make sure it's nice and smooth and I can get precise. And then I feel like I can kind of fluff it out too. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do some mascara to my lashes and we are pretty much done. Some quick setting spray and we'll be ready to go. All right guys, and this is the look. I know it's not exactly what we originally planned on doing, especially with the uh, face paint, but I still think it turned out pretty cute. It's a little bit more avant-garde than um, our last one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell right up there. Um, and like I said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your guys' support and happy Halloween. Bye.